What's up YouTube? So here's what we're gonna attempt this morning. A cold bore shot from 15 yards, 20 yards, 25 yards, and 30 yards. It's, I haven't shot at all this morning. We're gonna try to get them all in the kill zone of this target. <coughs> uh, this is my longbow. It's a Black Widow PLX 66 inch longbow, 47 pound draw at 28 inches. Uh, in olive ash. It's a beautiful piece of art. I shot compound bows for years and just got a little bored with it. There, there's a lot of things about the compound bow to me that make it really uninteresting. Uh, and kind of once you get the feel for it and get it sighted in, it doesn't take a lot of practice. This long bow, you got to shoot it dang near every day to be good with it. I haven't been shooting every day. 30 yards is a long shot with this thing and we'll work our way back to that. We might see some arrows fly, um, but hopefully we get them all in the kill. I love this bow. I missed a big buck with it last year, last season. It's really hard to hunt with and I wanted to do this video so I have the extra pressure of the, uh, the camera shooting this series of shots. Let's see how it goes. So here's our 15 yard. Another thing I did with this is I switched from shooting instinctual to um, something called gap shooting. So I started actually aiming off the tip of the arrow, whereas before I was just shooting this thing instinctual without any aiming. And the gap shooting has changed my ability to hit the target. There's our 15 yard shot, dead in the kill zone. That was nice. All right, we're back here at 20 yards. The further we get, the fewer mistakes that we can make. One of the most challenging things about shooting a longbow is the release. Obviously with a compound bow, you have a trigger release. With a longbow, you've got to let the string slide off your fingers just right. And if you mess that release up and you pull just a half an inch, the further we back up, the, the more it obviously relates to missing the target downrange. So here's 20 yards. Good shot at 20. All right, we're back here at 25 now. I would probably never take a shot with this thing at a live animal at 25. But uh, we're going to try to do everything right, keep it in that kill zone. Oof. Little high in the spine right there. Let's step back to 30. All right, here we go, 30 yards. It's a long. We're going to arch, try to arc this thing in there. Nice shot at 30. I don't know what happened on, I know what happened on that 25. With the, um, with the gap shooting, again, I'm aiming off the top of my arrow, so at 15 yards, the tip of my arrow is actually, I'm pointing the tip of my arrow about eight inches below the point that I want to hit, because when the arrow leaves the bow, it's arcing up, just like a bullet. When I get back to 20, I'm holding about four to five inches below where I want to hit off the tip of my arrow. At 25, I haven't played around a lot back here. At 25, I was holding basically point of aim, point of impact off the tip of my arrow. I should have been about three inches low at 25. 30 is pretty much point of aim, point of impact. So let's go down and check these shots out. So here we've got our 15 yards, our 20 yard, our 25, man, just missed the kill zone by literally a half an inch. That still would have knocked that deer down. Uh, and then our 30 yard shot, nice double lung shot, good to go. If you guys want to pick up the longbow, it's an amazing discipline to practice. Um, the beautiful thing about it, like I said, is there no, there's no fail safe like on a compound. With the longbow, you have to do everything the same every single time. 
but you don't have a trigger release, you don't have a, uh, you know, a big wall that you pull to to where it stops, this thing will keep going back. So you have to anchor in the same spot. You have to release at the same spot. Um, you have to have your grip the same. Everything has to be the same every single rep. And so building that muscle memory with the longbow is way, way more difficult. It's, this is more of a, um, a long-term, I would compare it to like a martial arts practice or something like that. There's a lot more technique that goes into this than goes into shooting a compound bow. I highly recommend it. If you got kids, get them a couple long bows or recurve bows. Get them out in the yard. You don't need a ton of space to do this. And it's an amazing discipline that um, will challenge you mentally for sure to get this down pat. So we'll try to kill some deer with this thing this year. I'm going to keep practicing. I need to get to where I can get all these shots dialed into that kill zone every single time. But I'm satisfied with this this morning being cold bore right out of the house with the bow. Um, I'll dial that one in. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Enough said.